welcome to today's lesson. That is uh, going to be still on the heat, as we say, as we, as uh, whatever we did in our last lesson. And you can remember that uh, in our last lesson, uh, we looked at heat, and we said that heat is just a form of energy. And we say that there are several ways of heat transfer, which we mentioned three of them. We mentioned uh, convection, we mentioned the conduction, and we looked at conduction. And then we also looked at others where we looked at, uh, we mentioned con convection and then lastly we talked of radiation. So we looked at conduction and we say that conduction is the, is the, is the means of uh, whereby heat travels through solids. And in solids we mentioned specifically metals. And we mentioned the likes of copper, aluminium, iron, anything made of those materials, heat can easily transfer, heat can easily move through them. We mentioned that is the way, the, the reason why uh, cooking materials like sulfuria and pans are made of, of metals, so that heat can, tra heat can be transferred from the source of heat uh, to the food that is being cooked. And then that is, we also mentioned about the bad, con the, the bad conductors. Like we mentioned, plastic, paper, glass, and etc. Those ones will make heat not to trans, not to be transferred to those places. And we mentioned that is the reason why why cables of uh, electricity are, are coated with the uh, insulators. We talked about insulator, and we say that anything that prevents it from moving from one place to another is an insulator. That is why hundreds of pans are made of plastics, so that you don't get burned, so that heat cannot be transferred from the pan to you where you are holding. So plastics are bad conductors or poor conductors. We also talked of, uh, of uh, wood, glasses, and the exception. So in our next lesson, Lana, we are going to look at, uh, we look at conduction, we mentioned the conduction. Another conduction, we drill. We drill something small, a source of heat like that. And we mentioned that if you put a rod like this, you hold this rod from there, and then you put some pins being held by some wax, like that. You realize that when this thing is heated by this heat, when this rod is heated, heat will be transferred from point A as it moves slowly by slowly towards point B. So, one, two, three, four. We say that this pin will, be, will drop fast. Why? Because he, this heat will reach it fast before it reaches number two, before it reaches number three, then number four. Then you are, before you know it, you'll be burnt. This is your hand. So now remember that, always remember that the first pin here, number pin number one, will be the first to drop because heat will reach it faster before it reaches number four and etc. So that is what uh, was the summary of uh, the, the diagram summary of, uh, the, of the first one that was conduction. Now we are going to the second one that is convection. We are still on heat, remember? So under convection, let's not know the, the, the definition. So convection learner is a method of heat transfer that involves the transfer of heat in gases and liquids. So this one involves involves transfer of heat in liquids and gases. Just like we talked of the transfer of heat in solids is uh, conduction. So when heat now passes through solids, we know solids like water is a very good example. When we boil water, heat is transferred in that, heat, heat transferred in water there. That makes water to move. Uh, maybe this is a sulfuria, we are heating water here. This is heat. So this sulfuria, we have water that are on the top and water that is on there, that is uh, below, uh, in, in the bottom part. So this water here, will be heated fast. So that the way this heat will be moving to make this one also become hot is what is known as convection. 
the, the, the movement or the transfer of heat in liquids and gases. Gases we know very well, like the air we breathe. Gases involves in any place we must have uh, air. And air is a very good example of, of gas. So how it travels in the atmosphere, that's just an example of, of, of air or, or, or gases. Where we, at times we can sit down on the basking on the sun. How, how is the heat from the sun reaching us? That heat is, that heat is passing through the water, through the, uh, through the, the gases, the reaches. So we are going to learn and uh, know different ways of which that heat will reach us in that level. So convection in gases, we are going to look at the first one. We have both them in liquids and gases. So convection in gases. Under that planner, we see that uh, Here we are going to use a demonstration of fire. Of fire. Let me use the, the three stones, the traditional three stones. Use that. And then fire is being produced here. These are cans of fire. Fire comes from there, from that place. And then we are likely to see. My diagram is not visible, so I'll grab it again. I'm sorry. The three stones and the wood being uh, being uh, put to make put the fire, and then we have the tongues of fire coming from that place. So you realize that, Lana, this heat, the air above the above the fire will be heated. And when the fire, the, when the air here is heated, then the movement, the hot air here will be moving towards that direction. The hot air again here will be moving towards that direction. And then we will realize that, you will realize something. No, no, no. So we will have air that moves directly to this point. Air will move directly from that point. And then the rotation. This one to be coming towards that, that place, it will be moving like that. So there will be upper movement of air because that air is hot. And then when the air is cooled up here, they will drop. When air is cooled, they drop down and start being heated again and they move. So the circular moves. Eh? The circular moves like that. So this, is one, this one is convection. Convection of air. The upper movement of air, when air is heated, it expands. It expands. And as it expands, when it reaches up, it is cool because it gets a, a cold environment up there. Remember the, the, the principle, the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. Meaning when you go higher in the air, that air up there is very cool. It is colder than the air that is down here. So when you go up, it is cool, then it comes down again, because when it comes down again, meaning it is now heavier. When it is heated, it becomes light and it expands. And when it is uh, cool, it comes down in that sequence, the way as you have seen it drawn, drawn here. So that is air evaporating. It goes up, then being, because of the cooling up here, it comes down in that process. So we say that uh, hot air is lighter than cold air, and that is... Uh, the main thing, hot air is colder, is lighter, hot air is lighter than, than cold air, hence it can easily expand. It rises up together with the smoke while cold air moves downwards. So it rises, it rises together, together with smoke, while, while cold, this is hot air, while cold air
descends. So descend is to go down, eh? Descends together with smoke. With the smoke. Yeah, it, it is lighter, so it moves moves down. It it is it is it comes heavier to fill the space left by the hot air. It comes down to fill the space left by hot air. The sun was screaming here. When we hit, when this hot air comes goes up, remember that this place now has no air. Who has no air as it goes up. When it expands, the cool air or the cold air will start descending down, come down to fill the space left down there by the by that air. So we are also told again another, another experiment that is very simple. This one you can try at home. You will do something very, very simple. You put some fire. You can use a chico or you can use a firewood. Set some fire somewhere. Set some fire. As I'm setting mine here. You can put some papers to burn. So long as it produces what? So this is tons of fire. What we are, what we are in, uh, interested with is fire, heat generally. So when there's a burning fire, that way that will uh, but that burns, you know how it burns. Eh? Try to put some papers, some light papers on top. Just drop them from the top. And try, you'll see the movement of that particular papers. You see that the pieces, the pieces, the pieces of paper, the pieces of paper there. The papers there will move upwards. Why? There's pressure. When, when this fire here is burning here, the air around it, the air up there is heated. And when the, the hot air expands, as we have said, the hot air will rise up together with smoke. And that force of the hot air will push these papers upwards. So you will see them going upward and then coming down through that man. They'll go up not block there, and then they'll come towards this direction. Meaning, the hot air there will rise and push the papers upwards. And then when they go up, because the, the, the upper air there is cool or cold, they'll drop to the sides of the fire. Why? To fill the space that was left down there by the, by the hot air. I believe you, Milana, whatever we have said here will happen. You won't see the papers dropping on fire because they are being pushed upwards by the hot air. So as soon as uh, we have done that, I think we can now go to the second experiment that is also very important in examination. You don't know it's there. You see a box drawn. A simple box drawn in the way I'm going to draw mine here. The way it is drawn there, Lana, you'll be asked a simple question. You'll have uh, some two holes. We'll have the first hole this side, another hole on that end. And then you'll be told that in this box, I think I didn't draw it so nice. Let me rectify it faster. Yes, in this manner now. So you'll be told that. We have a candle here. We have a candle that we are going to burn. Burn it from this other hole. So that is a candle. And that candle, that candle there, and then on this side we have a, we are dropping a burning a burning rug. Eh? What is a rug, Lana? Just a cloth that is old, an old cloth that can burn to produce smoke. What, what we are what we want here is smoke. So this smoke we are going to burn a, a simple cloth, and then the smoke is going, is going to produce. Let me say that it ends there. This is a rug. Then the smoke it produces will end will make it to end up in this hole. Eh? 
So when the smoke enters through that, that, that whole lana, it will move. The whole of this place will be filled with what? It will be filled with smoke. The smoke will come towards this, this, this other hole. So when it reaches here, this hot air that will be, because this is a candle, and the candle is, remember, it's burning. When the candle burns, the, it will force this smoke to pass through the other hole. The smoke will again go through this hole. So if you ask why, why is this smoke going through for each other point? So the issue here is, here we have A, point A, then point B there. So the burning uh, paper, we can use a burning, burning roll of paper, we can use a paper, burning roll of paper, then this is smoke, this is a box, this is a candle, and then this is hole B, this is hole A. So we can ask a question. The burning roll of paper produces smoke that goes through opening A into the, into the convection box. This one is called a convection box. The burning paper produces smoke that goes through point, through hole A, in the box. And once the, whole, the, the, the smoke gets into the box, the smoke is being pushed upwards by, by the hot air produced by this particular wood, by the this kind of, uh, makes the, the air up here to be hot. Hence, we force this smoke to go through point B. So, the candle hits, the candle hits the smoke in the box and it becomes lighter. When smoke is heated lana, the, 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 the smoke becomes lighter. Hence, when it's lighter, it can be able to go to evaporate and go rise upwards. So, as it rises up, it moves up through the opening B. Cooler air enters through opening A. Cooler air opens through open, open, uh, uh, opening A. And then cooler air enters through opening A, creating a, a certain motion. So hot air moves through point B. And the same time smoke may still come back again as cool, as cool air to enter through uh, through A. When it's cool, it can descend, can come down. Then it, the sequence can be, may, may continue like that. The sequence may continue the circle. And whatever will be, in the examination, if you just draw a simple box, let me wrap this one, you may be asked just a simple question. In the nation, we normally ask this. So we have points, that point. And let me just do a simple one. Simple, a simple, simple rectangle. Check that. So that a class 5 boy did an experiment. He placed burning that level this is opening A, this is opening B so you ask the same question A, B opening 1, opening 2 and then you are asked we had uh, point A B, C and D so between, uh, among A, B, C and D which was the best so which was the best uh, part, the best place to place a candle, to place the source of heat? Which was the best, the Alana, if you can remember? The candle must be placed uh, down, down, under, under the, the second hole. Remember where we put the, uh, the rug or the, or the burning papers? The burning papers will make the, 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 light, the light smoke to get in. And remember that the, this smoke must be heated to make it to make it uh, to make it light. I mean, the heavier one, the the, the cold air will come through this place, but then they need to be heated to be lighter to be able to expand and to get out through point two. So now that is the marking point of that. Remember it always. After that, we will go to convection in liquids. 
and we see convection in in liquids and that will always be demonstrated by by a sulfuria or a, yes like a sulfuria and then we talk of uh, something being heated this must be yeah so it moves through liquids by convection as we said and in this case we may use we may use a, a water, we put water in a sulfuria. And as we put water, we can put, we can put, uh, we can put uh, tea leaves, or we can decide to put some, uh, we can put tea leaves, just tea leaves. If we drop tea leaves in this particular, this particular uh, water, when the heat started, starts heating it already, when the source of heat starts operating, you realize that the water movement will be in this, in this, uh, uh, okay. They start moving in that upward movement. And then we, are, we can see that type of movement again. The movement will be in that angle. Why? The water down there is being heated by the water. Then through convection, we say that movement of heat in liquids and gases is through convection. So through convection, the, 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 cold, the cold water down here is heated, and because when it is heated, it becomes lighter, it moves upwards in that direction. The, the, the water currents will move upwards, and then you can see the heat currents, they'll now be moving in that direction. They'll move in that direction. So that is still under convection. That is how Convection of gas and liquids. They are called convection current. These ones are called uh, convection, convectional or convection car currents. Current will move in that direction. So now last we are going to go to a very important part and the last way of a heat transfer that we have talked about. And that is not going to be on radiation. Radiation. And that's all. Like you mentioned that radiation, radiation is just also another way, method of heat transfer through a vacuum, empty space. This is. A method of heat transfer in a vacuum. And what is a vacuum learner? A vacuum, a vacuum is simply an open plate. Eh? Or can talk of an empty, empty space. Meaning radiation, radiation does not require, does not require a, a medium. What do you mean by a medium learner? Like just what we mentioned about uh, a convection. Convection requires a medium. There must be water or there must be air. Uh, look at uh, look at the other one. Look at. Uh, Look at uh, conduction. Conduction also requires a medium. Heat must be transferred through a metal. Look at that. But in this case, this one does not require any medium. A vacuum is simply an empty space. So this one will give us a lot of things. The heat from the sun. The heat from the sun. The heat from the sun. reaches us through through radiation that movement of heat from up comes towards the, towards the 
the, the, the lower part. Like the sun is up and we are down. That heat, we feel that heat through radiation. It passes through the vacuum. The vacuum is the space that it passes through before reaching us uh, here on Earth. And again, when a person sits near a fire, when a person sits near a fire, and draw something in here, very simple. Just a person sitting next to some big fire. This is fire coming from this. So when somebody sits next to this place, in this angle, maybe somebody sitting on a chair, This one is sitting in this chair, on this chair here. And you can easily see, this heat will reach the legs of this person through a different medium in which it will reach the what? This part. So, through the legs, this heat will reach the legs through radiation. Here we have radiation. Why? This is a vacuum. It through, passes through a vacuum, through this open air, it will reach this, the legs of this person through radiation. But because of the air, the, the hot air here expands out, this one is now a villain. This, this was now con convection. Convection is the main mode in which it reaches there, it will reach us. So the heat reaches the person's hand up there but through convection. But it reaches the legs, as I'm drawn here, the legs and the knees here, through radiation. Because it passes through that space. Very important. Then uh, when a pupil stands outside in the sun, here she feels uh, hot after some time. The heat reaches the pupil the body through radiation. We have mentioned that. The heat from the sun reaches us through radiation because it passes through a medium. So Lana, until that time, Lana, we are done with that topic. There's nothing remaining there. What we need to remember is the issue about the cold and the cool air. The cold air, when heated, it expands, it goes up, and again, the, the, when the, then the cold air is heated, it becomes hot and becomes lighter, then it is able to expand. Then when it's cooled up there, it, is, it becomes it becomes heavier, and when it is heavy, cold air is heavy, it can be able to descend or to come down to replace or to, 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 to replace that air that was already heated and has expanded. So now if you can remember that, remember about the box, where the candle should be placed and where the rug should be placed. The rug will be placed always in the opposite hole. When the candle is here, then the rug should be in this other hole to make the air be able to move in that system. So because of the heat here, air is able to be heated, the smoke is heated, and it's able to, to pass through the other point to complete the, the, the circle. So until next time, Lana, I want to wish you well, enjoy your day, be very busy, and stay safe.